Hi guys, today we are going to discuss on how to take a decision and how to decide from several options you have. Uh, for example, you have to buy a car or you have to buy a house or you have to apply to a university or you have to buy a smartphone, you have to buy a laptop or any decision in which you have more than one options, how to decide upon the most correct choice. Here is the solution, a matrix diagram. So we'll quickly discuss the format first. So here is your object. What is it? A car, a house, a laptop, a smartphone, or anything that you have to buy or invest your money on. Then these are the criteria on which you have to judge your object. Criteria 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's good to have as many criteria as possible, whether they're important or not. But if they're criteria, you must include them. Here's the solution to the importance rating. Yes, all the criteria are not equally important. For example, for a laptop, performance is important for me. Maybe the aesthetics of the laptop is not important for me. The color of the laptop is not important for me. Criteria one can be performance. Yes, so maybe I give an importance rating of nine. Yeah, criteria two can be color or aesthetics. I give an importance rating of four. I don't need it. So you have to decide your importance rating from 1 to 10. Since it is your personalized matrix diagram and only you are going to influence it, you can uh, do the rating yourself from 1 to 10 and you can make the criteria for how to do the rating, right? And there can be many, many other uh, criteria. For example, a review can be an option. Criteria 3 can be, for example, a review, yeah? what reviews do i read online of a specific model for laptop that i have to buy so they're very important to me i give it an importance rating of nine right so and the criteria go on so here so these are the criteria and the importance but here you have the object option one so for example one model of laptop that you see yeah so it can be anything what do you say some model of HP yeah so now you give the criteria one performance how's the performance maybe it's uh, you decide for a factor of seven yeah you say it's performance is seven you say how the aesthetics say the aesthetics are um, maybe six yeah uh, and then you say the reviews how the reviews you read the reviews online yeah you talk to your friends you talk to other people who are using it you say the reviews are good but you, you give it according to your personal rating yes so you decide all this for all the criteria then uh, you go on to option two maybe maybe um, some laptop of Intel yes some model for Intel you choose on then you decide again upon that the performance how's the performance the aesthetics maybe six and the criteria for the reviews you say okay seven yeah so you do that for as many options as you have for the laptops you're considering now at the end uh, how do you finally decide on which uh, model is the best suited option for you and yes of course the price is one of the main criteria for me I'll give it 10 maybe yeah or maybe nine because laptop I use it for a long long term and then I decide upon that also maybe not and if it's cheap if it's not that expensive I give it nine if it's more expensive I give it eight yeah I decide from personally and then what do I do at the end you see the results so how do I make the results you know so what I will do is I will multiply my criteria one importance rating with the object one criteria one yeah and add it with criteria 2 um, importance rating into object 1 criteria 2 so that is the thing it's a cumulative result so yes so for the result of object option 1 with the what is our object option 1 an HP laptop with the performance so 97 is 60, 63 yes so 100 because the maximum is 10 into 10 yeah so it's cost 63 on 100 so we'll add 63 to 46 24 then we'll add 63 plus 24 
into 9 into 8 72 so you will do a cumulative addition like this and at the end the laptops um, uh, that is scoring the most will be the best student option for you now we'll uh, directly go on an example for example um, you have to apply for a master's to university abroad uh, this is just an example and there can be many many more factors right uh, and the ratings of the universities are not um, absolutely correct because it is dependent on your views right and um, it's not a judgment of the universities that are mentioned here they're just mentioned to quote an example for better understanding so if you have to apply for masters to university and uh, you select how to apply uh, which uh, university is best suited for you okay maybe i just took a real example of technicia hochschule ingolstadt that's in germany right so first you give the importance rating of the country yeah for a country my rating is seven the location my rating is um, in central suburban area it's two then the subject strength of the country for example and uh, you take a course masters in mechanical so subject strength of the country uh, like gyms famous for mechanical i give it aid subject strength of the university this technician should ingolstadt is famous for nine it's famous for the mechanical and the automotive sector so i give it nine weather and climate of the country it's not that important for me so i give it four then type of food it's a little more important than weather and climate but not that important so five i can manage language of the country is very important if it's not an english speaking country it's very important uh, for me so i give it a factor of nine then acceptance of foreign students in the society of course i give it a factor of nine living expenses of course i give it a factor of nine because it's very important for me career opportunities that is the main goal of doing uh, a masters abroad there should be career opportunities available and opportunities of further education doctorate or postdoctorate that is also one of the major criteria so i give it the highest ranking of 10 because that is the main goal of my masters uh, my career opportunities in further studies in world ranking of the university yes some people are more affected by uh, the world ranking of the university but it's not that important for me so i give it a factor of six then tuition fee is absolutely an important factor how, depending upon my financial situation for some can it can be important for some it cannot be important if they can manage um, any tuition fee and then application fee if you have to apply to university how much does but it's not that important for me so i give it a factor of three scholarships and financial support it is important for me i give it a factor of seven according to my rating work student opportunities i give it a factor of six duration of the course eight practical work when project is six and then extra quality activities at the university not that important too so first example we take technician option ingolstadt country germany i like germany i give it a factor of nine it's in europe I like it. Location, it's I give it a factor of six. Uh, seeing its location on life, subject strength, I give it a factor of ten. Subject strength of the university, nine. Weather climate, seven. Food, six. Yeah. Language, it's German, I give it a factor of nine because English is not that very known. Right? Acceptance of foreign students, ten. The many foreign students living expense of five. Career opportunities, yes, nine. There's a lot of automobile, uh, automotive sector here world ranking is not that good so i give it a factor of three tuition fee is zero application fee is zero and, and there are scholarships available uh, the work history opportunity is also there duration of the course is only half year so i like it not that long extra curricular activity is five yeah i'm not much concerned about that practical work is also there so uh this way then, the, then mention yeah Technician University of München. So here, location, central suburban area, I give it a factor of 10 because it's in the city of Munich, right? So these are some examples. UC Berkeley, I see. So subject strength of the university, 10 is one of the top universities. Language of the country, here I give it 10, you see, because it's an English-speaking country. So it's very convenient for me. And most of the factors are the same right and then i see in uh, australia right australia 
what's important here is of course the language again is 10 and the world ranking of the university app right and you see berkeley you see it's nine tuition fee this this is then um, acceptance of the um, foreign students in the society i gave it nine because of the um, uh, past in incidents uh, of um, with a few students in Australia, so that's according to my review, and so on. For Switzerland, I see the country that's the best country I would like to go to, so I've uh, given a ranking of 10, the highest ranking, right? And then Norway, these are just sample universities. Uh, for example, to the university in Austria, Australia, Switzerland, Norway, particularly, and better I give for Norway three because it's mostly summer six months and uh, winter six months. So yeah, so that's the main factors that you have to rank on. So now when I take the results, it's 9.89 for Technician Hochschule Ingolstadt, 1028 for TUM. Oh, uh, sorry. Yes, and 1036 for UC Berkeley. So I think the best university for masters for me is UC Berkeley. <laughs> and then it's TUM and then it's some university in Switzerland. So these are actually just sample universities and my rating is not absolute. Good. Can I repeat again? All right, so this is just an example uh, to demonstrate the use of this tool. Another example can be of a car. Yeah, so here another example is you can have your mileage, color, petrol, diesel. You can give your importance. Mileage is important for me. Nine, color six. Petrol, diesel is also important. Nine, leg space is very important for me. So I get nine, hatchback. Hatchback, notchback, six is this. Aesthetics, not that important. Yeah, phrase is 10, the most important reviews. And then you can calculate the results. So I think um, it is clear how to decide upon the best investment you can make for uh, something you're confused on when you have many options. So. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, any suggestions, and any queries, please uh, come to my YouTube channel and drop a comment. And please check out my other videos also. They are they also revolve around decision making and prioritizing your works. Thank you so much, and see you next time.